I've been a prostitute for eight years. Eight years? Mm -hmm. I guess you love your work. Yeah, baby. I am definitely looking forward to this. Oh, you're gonna love it. Yeah. Oh. My Mile High Club membership was finally on track. The captain has turned off the fast seatbelt sign. But then, I hit some bizarre and unexpected turbulence. How much is he paying you? 200 plus the ticket. I'll give you 300 if I can go first. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Just mind your own business. Thank you. Uh, sold. Incredibly enough, I had stumbled onto a flight full of recovering sex addicts on an immersion therapy trip to a Tijuana brothel. 350 if I get to go first? Yep, come on. What? 400 plus 10,000 frequent flyer miles. And the line no. for immersion was long. Take note. This is apparently one of the things that can happen when you are so determined to have sex on an airplane that you hire a prostitute to travel with you. This extraordinary and horrifying development led to a truly disgusting turn of events. Though my prostitute, Margaret, did earn enough money to self-publish her book of poetry. What are you doing? What? Why? You can't be standing when the seatbelt light is on. No, 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 no. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, hey, hey. This is going to take like one or two minutes. Please, oh, come, come on. we got to go back there. No. No. I have to join the Mile High Club right now. Well, okay, but I have to have my seatbelt on. It's okay. Listen. Here. Put the little blanket on. And do it right here in the seat? Yeah. Flight attendants will be coming through the cabin to collect any remaining service items. Uh, you, you better hurry. Yeah. Okay. I was, eventually, allowed entry into the Mile High Club, but so what? As it turned out, any idiot was free to join. I learned that I prefer my sexual encounters to be both free and free of spectators. I also learned the only belt I want to unbuckle to have sex is my pants belt, and perhaps also my heart's belt, no matter how scary the turbulence. Joining the Mile High Club, three stars. I can't believe it didn't work out between you and Shampoo. I mean, you treated her horribly, but who knew she'd have so much self-respect? There was, there was no way of editing that that uh, didn't make it seem horrifying.